Well, hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be doing a planner first impressions. It's okay, this is my normal public mailbox, so I don't care if you know the address. And um, I had a planner company reach out to me. This is Ashley Shelley Planner, or the Ashley Shelley Planner, I should say. I have done a video on the Ashley Shelley Planner. I think it was last year. If I can find that video, I'll throw it up in a card for you guys. But um, they reached out because they are doing their launch, which is happening this Friday. I believe I'm gonna put this video up on Saturday, because I'm not really sure what time on Friday that this launch is happening. So you guys know me, I pre-film the things. So let's open up the box and then I'll tell you a little bit more about the planner. So mine came in this really nice white box and I like unsealed it, but I hadn't opened it yet. So let's see here, I have a business card. Create your best days, cool. I have a little note here and it just says, Emily, thank you so much for checking out the 2019 Ashley Shelley Planner. We can't wait to hear what you think. Feel free to share your code EMILY5 for a $5 off a signature 2019 planner. And uh, it says the code expires on the 31st of December. So. I will leave the information down below for you guys too, in case you didn't write it down or you're you know, watching on the go or whatever. So anyways, it comes in this nice purple packaging, little tissue paper. Ooh, mmm, mmm, Sour Patch Kids, all right, cool, like that. It comes in this little bubble wrap and then it has a little card that says create your best days and then just has like the hashtags and where you can find them on Instagram. So let me pull this out and then we'll talk more. All right, so this comes in like a cello bag thing. So let's get this opened. Come on out, come on out. All right, there we go. Cool. All right, so let me give you some information about the planner before I open it. So the standard price for the signature Ashley Shelley planner will be $44.95. But if you use that $5 off coupon code, it'll put it down to $39.95, and that is good until the end of the year. So that's pretty awesome. It looks like last year their prices were $49.95, so they have decreased the price, which is kind of nice. As for scale, I have a seven by nine Erin Condren planner that I use on the regular. It's a little bit bigger, or like my Erin Condren's a little bit bigger, I should say. So I have my cover, if you can see the difference. Like, you know, the Erin Condren is a little bit different there. So the pages are just a little bit more narrow, but it's the same, same height, so. I don't know, it's nine inches by probably six, six and a half, something like that. So very comparable to the, you know, Erin Condren size. So anyway, um, when they reached out, they showed me their designs for 2019. So I picked this design and this design is called the Chambray Stripe. So um, I will show you guys, um, it's gonna be hard to see. Hold on, let's see if I can like see it properly. Here we go. Actually, let me put this down and then I'll, um, zoom y'all in. It always gets funky when I try to show my screen. So anyway, um, this is the chambray stripe, the aqua herringbone, marble stripe, painted floral rose gold, so the coil is rose gold, and then the painted floral and the silver. So I know these have been like, you know, I think these ones were last year too, or something similar to that. So it might be like one or more of their signature looks. But um, I thought the chambray stripe looked kind of nice, so I figured why not go with that one. And it's kind of like more of a like a dark denim color, and it looks like it's black. Like the stripes look like they're black. They might be like a super dark indigo, I'm not sure. So anyway, this comes with a silver coil. It has like a teal 2019 on it. And then it has the corners, which I love. Oh, it's kind of off camera, sorry. It has the hard corners, which I love. It has the bound in cover. So, you know, nice and sturdy. Then you open it up. Ooh, this is nice. Um, it has a little pocket so you can put stickers or, you know, if you, put your bills in there, or you have postcards, or something like that, or invitations, or whatever, you can put that in there. All right, and then, whoa. All right, so we've got a plastic pouch. It's not movable, however, you could kind of slice it if you wanted to and move it around. It's kind of up to you. So, and then inside of here, well, it's like a, 
little sealed pocket here. Okay, it's just the one sticker of icons. All right, I'm not gonna take it out just cause it's just one sticker, so. Um, but yeah, it's all the Ashley Shelley colors, which is kind of nice. So it's just got some different things on there. So yeah, kind of cool. All right, so let's turn the page. And then it says, this planner belongs to, and then it has the Ashley Shelley stuff, and it's from January 2019 through December of 2019. And it's got the little perforated edges. I want to say they had those last year, maybe? I can't remember, but I think they had those last year. Um, anyway, so then there's some information from Ashley Shelley, and she just gives you some planner tips, which is kind of awesome. And then on this side is kind of just a nice blank page for an inspiration board, which I kind of like, because you know me, I don't, I mean, I like structure, I just don't like a lot of structure. So that's kind of nice, you could, you know, like it says, write, draw, and tape all of the inspiration here for your year ahead, it's so true. So if you've got, you know, goals and goal setting, things like that, put it in there or use it for something totally different. So next page, there is important contacts with some lines, favorite meal ideas, breakfast, dinners, and lunches. Um, I like that. That's kind of nice, you know, or things that were like a hit at your house or something like that. All right, next page. These are kind of reminiscent of the Erin Condren boxes, but this is a little bit more structured just because it has the months on there. So it's a 2019 planning overview. And I kind of like this. It's kind of nice. Um, I know a lot of people use like in the Erin Condren ones, they have these boxes in the front of the planner too before you get into the months. And a lot of people use them for basically the same thing, like a monthly overview. But this would be easily enough covered up with a sticker or some washi or even just like whiteout tape if you wanted to use it for something else. You could just use all of these boxes for something else too. So yeah, it's still versatile. We're still giving you some structure if that makes sense. So the yearly overview, you've got 2019, also 2020, which is nice. I love to have a 2020 or like the next full calendar year in that planner, if that makes sense, because sometimes you're scheduling vacations or you're kind of like grand scheme looking at things of like, okay, that one week there's this conference in Orlando and we want to go and it's always the second week in September or whatever. So you're kind of like planning things and just kind of like general forecasting for the next year. So I always really like that. Um, now it has all the 2019 holidays. Well, not all of them, but some of them. Um, so we've got that. And then we get into January. All right. So all the paper has been the same except for the ones that have the tabs are very thick. Like, like a nice thick cardstock. All right, so here is the January 2019 layout. Um, it's actually really nice. So they're not perfect boxes, they're more like rectangles and they have little lines on them. They are, are they dotted? They kind of look like they're like dotted a little bit. Very reminiscent of just like lined paper from a notebook um, is kind of what it looks like. So it's very faint, but if you do want to write, like say you want to like write a list of something, you could definitely kind of use that as a guideline, which is nice. Also, I'm loving that it has last month's monthly view as well as the next month's monthly view on here as well. That's really nice. Again, with that forecasting or paydays or like whatever you're looking forward to, it's like, okay, yeah, okay. Then yeah, the 15th will work, but you know, I'm out of town on the 22nd or, you know, like you can just kind of like talk about that stuff and like see it visually. That really helps me. Um, on the left-hand side also, there are notes and then there are some of those holidays that are put up at the very very top in a very faint purple writing as well and then into the months so here's the first page in January it says create the life you love in January um, and that's just it looks kind of more like a vision board kind of a thing I know that they do this what did I just review an inkwell press planner um, I did like a first impressions on as well so it's different, but it's kind of the, a similar idea. So like goal setting, things that you could change for next month, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it looks like, I mean, I'm just kind of reading over some of these. It looks like these could be modifiable a little bit too, or you don't necessarily have to use this page too if it's just like not your jam. Kind of cool, something different. And then, okay, so this is a notes page, but it's two columns. And then here's a notes page that is just all lined. 
And then we get into this. All right, so we've got a daily planner, but it's, you know, a week on two pages. So the very top, we have a note section, your monthly word, which I believe you can put in right over here. So your, your word of the month. And then, um, then it has all these like little colons. So you can put like what you're doing at specific times. So say you work at 7 a.m. You can just put 7 a.m. work, or you can put 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. work if you really want to do that. Um, and then it's got a bunch of lines and then a to-do list and then it says do today and then dinner. So that's kind of nice. And then over to the right hand side, there are listed holidays. So like the 31st is New Year's Eve and the first is New Year's Day. And then um, all of them are exactly the same as the others. But let's get into looking at some more. All right, here's, here is the next page. And yeah, everything looks exactly the same. Um, if you guys watched my, what was it? My Inkwell Press Planner like my mock horizontal, which this is actually kind of a horizontal orientation, but I could get more on board with this one just because it's more of a list of times and other lines. So you really wouldn't necessarily have to use this for times if you didn't want to. You could write very easily um, shopping or whatever and then like put where you're going or if there's specific things you have to do. There's also a to-do list. So I like that it's like a column kind of because my brain works in this way and it doesn't work this way um, but I did that mock plan with me and even my mom was laughing at me because she's like oh Emily that was so horrible I'm like I know she's like but it was really funny I'm like well thanks so <laughs> um, I'll link that up in a card if you guys want to watch me struggle um, doing a horizontal but this I think you could if you were a horizontal person or if you were a vertical person I feel like this could work for you with this layout because it is you know column E that's not even a word what am I talking about anyway um, but yeah so this this is the month and then we are now in to February and so all the months are gonna look the same but let's go in the back because sometimes there's other accoutrements in the back you just you never know so let's take a peek and see okay so we're at now we're in two all right so now we're into the last page of the month which is December 30th through January 5 All right, and then we've got some notes pages. Ta-da! All right, so we have little notes pages with, you know, hearts on them. So let's say one, two, three, four, whoops, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so you get 10 notes pages that are just there for you, which is kind of awesome. Um, and then on the back, it just has more information about Ashley Shelley. And then in the back over here, it's got the, still the same hard, like the hard board. Is it, it's not cardboard, but it's, you know, like a solid permanent cover. I can't talk today, you guys. I just like worked all day and got my oil changed. <laughs> I just like, I can't adult and human right now. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, it's like a really, really nice, very, very sturdy. It's like a nice gloss on it too. So I feel like if you spilled something, if you wiped it up super, super quick, it would be all right. I mean, clearly if you left something, it probably wouldn't be the best. But um, yeah, it's very smooth, like very smooth feeling. And it's like kind of glossy. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is kind of glossy. And then this is what the back looks like. Still has the reinforced corners. Sorry, I'm not in the frame, whoops. And then um, has the Ashley Shelley logo on the back as well. So yeah, that is a sneaky, sneaky little peek inside of the Ashley Shelley 2019 planner. If you guys want a $5 off coupon code, feel free to put in Emily5 at checkout for $5 off one of your Ashley Shelley 2019 signature planners. If you use an Ashley Shelley planner, let me know in the comments down below. And also, even if you don't use an Ashley Shelley planner in 2019 or ever, 
let me know which planner you do use or planners. I mean, I know a lot of people use a lot of different planners and maybe what you use them for. I would be really curious to know in the comments. And also that's like a cool way for me to check out new planners too, um, because I can always order some planners and do some open box first impressions like I just did with this one. So that is going to be it. I wanna thank again the Ashley Shelley team for sending this planner my way and thinking of me and you guys because you can get a little discount if you'd like one. Again, the links will be down below for you guys, but it's kind of nice to see a little sneaky, sneaky peek. And um, they launched yesterday as the time that you're seeing this because I'm pre-filming everything and it looks like they're gonna be launching on the 7th and I'm gonna post this video at the super early morning I think maybe 5 a.m. Central Standard Time on the 8th, so like the next day. So, you know, if you want a little bit of a more inside look on this stuff, you can take a peek with me, um, which you already just did, and uh, make your decision from there. So, yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna jet. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. If you liked it, make sure to give me a thumbs up. You can always give me a thumbs down too if you don't like it. But if you made it this far in the video, you might as well just give it a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe if you would like to join the FTE family and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye guys. Well folks, it's time to kick it old school.